warahmatullahi wabarakatuh welcome back to another vlog of mine i'm really hoping that you're enjoying my vlog so far it's currently tuesday the 26th of march the 16th day of ramadan if i'm not wrong right now it's 8 50 a.m i've dropped the kids to school uh i have 10 minutes until i start work i've got some dishes to do uh from suhoor time honestly i'm really struggling during suhoor um I just tend to leave the dishes there and then um, do them once I've uh, dropped the kids to school. So I'm going to go and do the dishes very, very quickly, pop them in the dishwasher and then I'll log on and work until 3 p.m. Um, at which point I'll go and pick up the kids from school. Um, again, Ali's fasting, so he's not going to have his usual snack. Lean is going to have a snack until five o'clock. Sorry, until iftar time, uh, which is currently around 6 40 p.m where i live then um so i'm gonna log off at 5 p.m and then i've got enough time to prepare iftar um i'm really opting for simple and quick meals so i just tend to make very easy meals it's so much easier for me because i'm i work full time and also we're we're not really able to eat that much anyway um yeah so what else um one thing i am so so sad about is that ramadan is almost going to come to an end and i told my husband and children this morning how although i get tired more more tired day by day sorry um and that's just the way it is with me every ramadan some people get used to it day by day and it gets easier for them with me though it only gets harder by the day. I'm not sure if it's due to my iron deficiency uh, and low vitamin D as well, by the way, I've got low vitamin D. Um, regardless of all of that, fasting gets harder day by day for me. But I'm so, so grateful for this month and I love this month so much. I love the month of Ramadan. Just the spirit, the vibes, everything about Ramadan is just so, so amazing. And like spiritually connecting with God, knowing that so many Muslims around the world are also fasting and worshipping that one God is very satisfying. It's really sad times going by so quickly. And before you know it, snap, it's Eid and ramadan is over for another year and we don't know if we're gonna make it to the next ramadan so let's make the most of this ramadan anyway i'm gonna go downstairs quickly wash the dishes and then come back up log on start work and pick up the kids from school at 3 p.m gosh i thought the dishwasher was empty i'm gonna have to unload this now and then load it Okay, it's 3 p.m. I'm gonna go now, pick up the kids from school, and then I'm gonna run into the grocery shop very quickly because I need to buy a few things for tonight for iftar. We also, we're running out of eggs, a few things for Sahur, so I'm gonna buy that as well. I've been loving these lately. It's jam donuts from Home Bargains. They're only 89. Why does it say mini for one pound? Oh no, these are 89p for four donuts. So we're missing eggs, bread, and what's the other thing we needed at home? Yeah, we'll see. These are my favorite. I popped them in the air fryer. I've got to buy a bunch of them. They've got lentil. I'm not sure if they're nice. I've never tried them. 
Um, I'm running out of lentils anyway. They're for two forty-nine. It's a, quite a big pack, two kg. Um, I'll, I'll still get it. I'll try it. This one's expiry date is later. Um, I think that's all. So grocery shopping is done. Ali's being collected from school. Ali's not feeling well. However, he has a match later on today at 5.30, which I forgot about. Yeah, I told him to just break his fast. He's very, very weak. It's cool even called me. So yeah. we've done our shopping now. Gonna go and pick up Lena. We have, we still have a lot of time. Got like 15 minutes. Um, once Lena has been collected, she's gonna have a snack too. And then I'm gonna resume work and then take Ali to football at 5.30 and then I'll make iftar. They said I was green in lesson. Like my face yeah, appar green. apparently he was pale and all green. I don't know how much they were exaggerating, but hey ho. Anyway, Ali's collected now. We've done all our bits and we're going to go and collect Lena. Uh, since I have time to pick up Lena, I'm just bringing back some empty plates for my sister. She packed me food the other day. I don't think she's at home, so I'm just going to have to leave them outside her door. I'm going to have to leave them there. Or just hide them here. She'll be back soon though. Hey My sister packed me food for our iftar. Let's see what she packed me. Okay, so here we have dessert. Oh, wow. So cute. <laughs> what do we have here? Non for tashrib. Oh, and a little cute kissy. Oh, look at that, Lena. Non for tashrib. Here. What else do we have? I'm guessing this is dates. Yes. Oh, so cute. <laughs> no way. So, so it says. Onions and sumak, love you. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, it says the love bowl is tapula. Guys, this is so cute. She is so cute. Ah, you can see it better now. So this is rice. How am I gonna eat all this food? Oh, this is so cute. Guys, in a hard bowl. And finally, we have tashrib. Here we have the bamya tashrib.
cream cheese. Yeah, you can add. Yeah, I know. Thirteen cup of tomato juice. When you boil them to a degree that's in not magic and melting the contents, the crystallization will form its deep. What are you saying? I'm, uh, I'm not understanding. How you cook bread? Yeah, exactly. It's too early for this. Try the yellow. Run for your life. She's <laughs> gonna wake up. <clears throat> Two minutes. Are you serious? No. No, but I'll sit down. Nah, six minutes. Seven minutes. Protein and they tear the cup. Hell, would you have fools? Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So I'm trying out a few dresses for Eid. I'm trying out a few dresses for Eid. I've received uh, dresses from a few different places. So I'm gonna try them on. You can have a look with me. Um, and then I'll link them all below for you. Um, so this one, I am actually really loving the color. Um, it's super comfortable. It is quite thin, I must say, uh, but then I guess this would be a good option for summer. So what I could do as well is wear uh, some layers underneath. So let's see. Yeah, I think it's super, super cute. I am loving it. It's definitely a unique abaya. Uh, and I think they are trending right now, these ones. So yeah, it's going to be a difficult one, this one. How about you actually let me know in the comments which outfit you think I should go for? This is the second option. Again, it is the same sort of material, same fabric, thin, super light. Look at this. Look at the feathers. Now again with this one there is a strap that tucks your waist in. Again, I am loving this one too. Yeah, so I'll link this one too. The only thing is the other one is an elastic band. Uh this one is a strap, so you can just tighten it according to your size and your desire. Some people might not want to have it too tight anyway. So that's the good thing about this one. So yeah, let me know what you think. And finally, this abaya. Probably this is more of an Eid abaya. However, I won't be able to link this abaya because I bought this from Medina. Look how beautiful that is. This is more of an Eid abaya, I would say. Um, so I will probably go with this one. Let me know in the comments which one looks best and which one you think would be more um, aid appropriate. Yeah, let me know. It's going to be a difficult. It's going to be. It's going to be a difficult one. But I'm pretty sure, with your help, I'll be able to make the right decision. I'll I'll, I'll pick the right abaya. Yeah, to me, personally, I think this would be more aid appropriate, but yeah, we'll see.
I'm so happy because we all get to go to Juma to the mosque together. We never get to do this as a family. We barely get to do it. I can't remember the last time we ever went to the mosque together. But because it's Good Friday, we're all off. And so we're going to the mosque now. It's the third Jum'a of Ramadan. I can't believe Ramadan is almost over. One more Jum'a and then Ramadan is finished. The mosque is 30 minute drive uh, from where we live, sadly. But yeah, I'm so happy because we all get to go together as a family. Yes, queen. <laughs> Honestly, it can't get any better. Look at this beautiful sunny day. MashaAllah. Look at the sky. Wow. Look how busy it is. MashaAllah. Um, we're stuck here. The cars aren't moving. We finished Jum'ah prayer. We're just going to meet Ali and Amr by the car. My gosh, mashallah, it was so busy. There was there was no space. We had to, yeah, we had to pray by the corridor. That was such a beautiful experience. I shed a few tears, but mashallah, it was so busy. We were all cramped by the entrance. There was no space at all. And that's what I expected, isn't it? When we were home, I did say there's going to be no space because it's Good Friday, it's Easter, um, everybody is off, and so, and it's Ramadan and it's Jum'a, so I was expecting the masjid to be packed, and it was. Um, but somehow, Subhanallah, there's always oh, space. Day, yeah, there's always space to pray if you just squeeze. Um, and I, I I prayed by the staircase in the hallway. Um, another lady came, another sister came with her child. I told her there's no space upstairs. Just stop here, come next to me. Um, but yeah, it was a beautiful experience. Although we didn't get to pray Sunnah prayers, sadly. Um, no, I didn't get to pray Sunnah prayers because the people were just walking up and down and it was just, there was no way. We're gonna go home now. It's obviously Jum'a, which means what does it mean, Jum'a, Lina? What do we do, Jum'a? Shower. Shower. Yes, we shower. Uh, well, it's not like we, we shower only on Jum'a. We're gonna eat iftar at Ender's Exactly. House. We have a family meal, <laughs> traditional family meal, on Jum'a. Not just Ramadan, not just for iftar, but we eat at my mum's house. We get together the whole family and we have a Jum'a meal. I spoke to my mom and I was thinking about making roast chicken Ooh, yummy. and taking that with me. However, she said she's already marinated chicken. Look how busy it is. Look at that. She said she's already marinated chicken. So I said, what about rice? She said she's already put the rice in the water um she's already made the stew so Aww. that leaves me with making some nice salad so i'm gonna make carrot and red cabbage salad and also just normal um traditional salad with cucumber um, tomatoes the sour one yes of course you can help yes. so it's cramped look at this it's I made packed. my mommy salad for mother's day and she just yeah did. i loved it really lena's really good at making salad so i might it. make carrot juice as well and take that with me so yeah so it's six o'clock we have 40 minutes until iftar i've prepared my salad so that there is carrot and red cabbage salad with mayo and then this is a mixture of vegetables with um, olive oil and uh, lemon and salt so i'm going to mix this now and i'll transfer it to this bowl and i'll um, wrap them with cling film and take them and then we can go Literally my favorite stew, courgette stew. Mm. Basil? Basil, where's kiss for me? And Ali is so hungry. Are you okay, Kuram? Yeah, yeah, I'm amazing. Mashallah, mashallah, look at this meal. Soup, salad, rice with uh, rice with chicken and carrots, chicken, rice, 
my salad. I think this is lasagna, Turkish bread, spring rolls, kukba, and cabbage. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. But why do you think my hands are freezing cold in the mat? I do not like sweet yeah <laughs> 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 Çok iyi bir şey.